As early as the mid-1950s, the need for a community hospital was being discussed by local business leaders and the Catawba Medical Society, but it took more than a decade for the idea to come to fruition. On July 24, 1962, after contentious debate, Catawba County residents voted in favor of a bond proposal that allowed for the purchase of the land and the funds to build a new hospital centrally located between Hickory, Newton, and Conover. The success of the closed vote could be attributed to the grassroots efforts of community leaders who garnered the support of many civic organizations, industry executives, and even Dr. Glenn R. Fry, the owner of the private Hickory Hospital still in existence today. Voters not only approved the bond proposition, but they also approved a tax levy to finance the operation of the hospital, the tax to be implemented when and if it was ever needed. And since the first year of operations, it has never been needed. One year was all that uh, the county supplemented the hospital. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that was a small amount in compared to, comparison to the um, money that they needed at that time. Pretty emotionally, it wasn't accepted, to be honest with you. And you can tell by the close vote uh, at the referendum. Uh, again, uh, it was the people and also the physicians. The fact is that some felt that they could serve the people better, closer to the, maybe a hospital in the Hickory area, or maybe to that, that doctor uh, couldn't sit down in the Davis Hospital. So it was a challenge. It really was a challenge, honestly. Uh, I don't know the bed count to start with or how they came out, but uh, people, uh, they had to be proven. The fact is that this was the right hospital for them. And it did, it came about. But it was, a hard, it, was, it, was, it was tough, to be honest with you, to get it accepted in the county. Five years after the vote, Catawba Memorial Hospital opened its doors to the community with an open house that attracted more than 15,000 area residents. On October 15, 1967, Catawba Memorial Hospital admitted its first patient and celebrated its first birth, a healthy baby boy. Fifty years later, Catawba Valley Medical Center now delivers more than 80% of the babies born in Catawba County. The visionary leaders from the 1950s and 60s surely would be delighted to know that their idea for a community hospital has become one of the most well-regarded independent health care systems, not only in the state, but also in the country. You know, this hospital existed, the, the original Catawba Memorial, before all the federal programs we have, the Health Care Act, and all these things now that, that enable people to get health care. Uh, when, when this hospital was built, and its mission, it was to take care of those who, who didn't have any options. You know, we didn't have the insurance programs we have today, all the, the safety nets we have. And, and that still, that atmosphere still permeates this hospital, that, that attitude of we're here to serve our neighbors, to take care of people, to treat people with respect, that's still here. That, that goes back to the very roots of when this was founded. And that's important, Th these values. And Tony Rose has exemplified that. Those values from day one have never changed about focus on taking care of, of each other and taking care of people with dignity and respect. It's still here. What I love about Catawba, it's a great, wonderful community hospital where neighbors take care of neighbors, providing just wonderful care, wonderful service, and it truly is a family environment. In early 1993, the trustees of Catawba Memorial Hospital selected J. Anthony Rose to be administrator, one of only three leaders in our 50-year history. A graduate of Mount St. Mary's College in Maryland and George Washington University, Tony had served as a senior vice president for Wustoff Hospital in Rockledge, Florida, before moving his young family to Hickory. His wife Karen was still in graduate school for school psychology, busy raising a 13-year-old daughter, Jenna, and a six-year-old son, Tony Jr. when they decided to make a major life change. We moved up here when I was five years old and getting ready to start kindergarten and it was a big move for us as a family. Uh, my sister was still in middle school. Uh, my mom was still finishing up her graduate degree. It took a lot of a a lot of a effort and a lot of a convincing to really get up here but I think in the end it was the right move for everyone involved. Tony, I just wanted to say to you, thank you for always prioritizing marriage and family. And Karen, for standing by your man all these years. Sometimes leadership can be a hard place, but you did 
you did well and you two remained strong together. Tony became the obvious candidate for the position of president of Catawba Memorial Hospital because of his experience with both private, for-profit, and not-for-profit hospitals. Tony sprinted right out of the gate when he joined Catawba Memorial, quickly becoming involved with immediate issues like an open-heart surgery plan, a prenatal and delivery crisis, and cost containment problems. Tony recognized the challenges and worked efficiently to come up with solutions. He oversaw a plan to help the birthing center by hiring more staff, including nurse midwives. He implemented a cost reduction plan that saved the hospital significant amounts in areas across the hospital. Tony wanted to increase community health services and make Catawba Memorial more visible in Western North Carolina. So the first mobile health unit was purchased in 1995. His vision then prepared the way for our most recent addition, a state-of-the-art 3D imaging mobile mammography unit that was added this summer to the fleet of wellness vehicles that serve the entire Catawba Valley. When, when Tony first started, we did not have good relationships with physicians. That was one of his top priorities right away, was to reestablish the confidence of the medical staff and make sure that we had a good collaborative relationship. And I think that he accomplished that very early on here, and that's something that we're very proud of, is our relationship with our physician partners. And uh, he set the tone for that and made it happen. This hospital has high ethics, high morals, high values, and he fit with that, it was obvious, and he's proved that, obviously, in the years he's been here. From early in his tenure, Tony Rose also realized that owning primary clinics was going to be of vital importance in population health going forward. In 1996, Catawba owned six primary care clinics. Now it owns 15 primary and four specialty clinics. He took community outreach to new levels with the Ryan C. White Clinic for HIV AIDS patients and the Health First Center that provides numerous programs to support wellness in our community. And he developed a funding program for school nurses in all of the Catawba County schools. CVMC has probably done more for the county as far as through public health initiatives, one of those being the public nurse, the nurses in our public schools. Uh, Tony has stepped up to the plate and really, really supported us. Uh, we started this, I believe, in 2005 when the ratio for our students was about one to 3,000. And Tony certainly played a part in, in our, our committee and uh, funded those nurses. And th therefore, now I think we're one to 1,000, which is close to the CDC rating. So that's one of the things. Not only that, but Tony's worked with the prenatal clinic. He's worked with the diabetes. He's helped us in a lot of ways through our public health department, make sure that we service the, all the folks, all the citizens of Catawba County. An advocate for his staff, Tony encouraged the practice of nursing as a standard by supporting Chief Nursing Officer Eddie Beard and the nursing staff as they pursued the first magnet designation, the highest award given by the American Nursing Credentialing Center. Catawba has now obtained that designation four times, making it one of 26 hospitals in the country to be recognized for the high standard of nursing care and positive work environment. So I was promoted to chief nurse and I had a bird's eye view. So I had a little pre-Tony and then all of the time that he's been here, I've worked, he and I've worked closely together. And he has a very unique leadership style and that he doesn't meddle. He, his goal is to hire good, competent people and allow them to do their jobs. And that's what he's done. And um, I think that that's been the huge success of our team is hiring the right people and giving them the freedom to accomplish many things. Um, we have a very strong medical group because of his leadership. We have magnet designation since 2001. Um, we have excellent physician relationships. We have stellar quality results. We have the reputation in the community for being the premier healthcare system that people want to seek care from. And all of that is related to Tony and the team that he put in place to deliver. Tony has always realized that the success of any hospital rests on the patient experience, which is affected at every level of service in the organization. As a leader, he has encouraged staff to be innovative by finding new technologies and pioneering programs that better serve our patients. As a former hospital housekeeper, he knows that true success comes from excellence in every area of service. 
from the operations staff to the environmental services staff, from everyone behind the scenes, all the way up to the front line of the nurses and physicians. You know, culture is an organization, and Tony has done an amazing job of cultivating a culture that's friendly to employees, friendly to physicians, and certainly friendly to patients. So uh, we have seen uh, the family culture here at Catawba get even stronger. The way that Tony works with the people is amazing. It really is. During Tony's tenure, the name of the hospital changed from Catawba Memorial Hospital to Catawba Valley Medical Center, a change that better reflects the role it now plays in the community. Tony recognized that CVMC is crucial to the success of the Catawba Valley and prioritizes partnership with other local organizations, both financially and with his own time. He has served on the boards of numerous community organizations, supporting other charitable groups, the arts, and his church. He has actively advocated for our community with his work with the Catawba County Economic Development Corporation and K64. I think that with the community expectations of being involved with the community, um, working on various boards, running up uh, fundraisers, doing community outreach. It was, a long, it was a large time commitment, not just for my dad, but also for my mom. You know, she was equally as involved in doing things with the uh, art society, with the uh, Hickory Community Theater, in various organizations throughout her tenure as a, you know, a community figure. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't understand or appreciate as much as the importance that that goes on with being a spouse of a, an executive in a small community, or really any community for that matter, um, until you actually get to experience it. And, you know, I, I got to grow up and see it firsthand, the hours, the, the rushed meals that we had to eat on the go, going from one meeting to another, not, not to mention my busy schedule of sports or other activities, but you know, trying to make her meetings and trying to make his meetings. and you know, It was a hectic life, but it was, a, it was a great life. And I don't think that any of us would look back and want to do it any differently. Looking back 20 or 30 years ago, when I start, first started, uh, was first involved 20 years ago, there was, the competition between Fry and Catawba was really intense. And we spent a lot of energy at the board just talking about those battles between the two hospitals. And arguably, when you're talking about battling your competitor, you're not really focused on patient care and, and other things in the community as much as you could be. Tony, with him coming on, it really changed the conversation as we worked better within the community, um, uh, better with our competitor, better with Fry, our, our, our other hospital. So the two, the, the collaboration that developed, uh, thanks to Tony's leadership, he really brought us to the next level and, and, and um, made for a better hospital, better community, a better relationship with our neighbors and other, other forces in the community. He, he changed the, the dialogue. Well, I think that Tony is not only concerned about improving the health inside the hospital, but outside the hospital as well. I think that's one of his big initiatives, is being able to do more for the community, be more involved in the community himself personally, and I think that it is certainly his wife being a public health nurse has certainly attributed to that. He is always, always willing to do and be involved and care about everyone in the hospital. Tony cares not only about what the people who've been in our hospital think, he cares about what our employees think. He even cares about what the board thinks and the board of commissioner thinks. So Tony is very willing to listen and he's also willing to react and do the things that are right uh, for this community. Well, I think the name change at the time it was done was merely a name change. I think the conceptual change had taken place a lot earlier than that. Uh, this institution actually, even when I first came here in, in the late 70s, was receiving patients from a very large portion of this whole region. But as the facilities improved, as the technology and the equipment improved, uh, the regional influence of this facility was more and more obvious. And so the name change 
was simply a reflection of what had already taken place over many years prior to that time. Tony has also overseen several facility expansions of Catawba Valley Medical Center, including the addition of the Pavilion, home to the state-of-the-art Cancer Center with its beautiful Infusion Center, and the Women and Children's Center with a Level 3 NICU, and Innovative Birthing Center with the latest technology for the safest deliveries. With the Pavilion expansion, Tony reinvigorated the role of Catawba Medical Foundation by reaching out to community partners for financial support, securing more than $3 million in gifts. With the Orrin L. Klein family, he dedicated a philanthropy center in the newly renovated lobby to recognize the donations given by generous individuals, businesses, foundations, and our own employees. Um, my father served here. He, he loved this hospital. Um, he, was, he served as a trustee. So um, I grew up knowing about this hospital, how valuable it was to the community. Uh, as I came back here out of school and had the opportunity to be of service, often as on the board of trustees, and um, so it goes, it really goes back to as long as I can remember my affection for this place. The whole atmosphere, the, the rooms, the birthing rooms, everything is far superior to what we had previously. Uh, the operating room is first class, the new monitoring abilities, all those things uh, took a quantum leap from what we had uh, in the old birthing center. Almost 25 years of service to the health of our community cannot be adequately summed up in this video presentation. His leadership has come with personal sacrifice, financial as a major donor to the Catawba Medical Foundation, and with the time he and Karen have spent serving on various boards in our community. He has actively and thoughtfully put an experienced executive team together, allowing them the freedom to think big and create new opportunities. His guidance as president and CEO will set the tone for the future, ensuring that the next 50 years will be as successful as the last. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony Rose, on behalf of the Catawba County Board of Commissioners for everything you've done for this community.